Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the week of February 22nd through February 28th, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these. Well, I guess there it is. Magician in the Mirror. So... You know, this is like the magician card. You're manifesting something. Um, what you, you, whatever you want, you can have. So this week is a week of manifestation. You're in, you're in control. Remember to think positive during this time because your thoughts are manifesting. So this is definitely a time of manifesting. And you have some sort of power. You have some sort of power. You're going to be in your power. You're, you have some sort of control right now. Really, really, really control your thoughts. Whatever you're thinking is manifesting. That is something that you need to know. I feel like you're going to see something this week. I feel like you have some sort of divine connection and you're going to see something this week. I mean, a divine connection to source. Okay. And you're going to see something, you know, maybe when you look in the mirror, maybe when you look in the mirror, you're going to realize something. You're going to realize something about yourself this week. It may be something that you need to change. So what do we, what do we have for Taurus? They hear your prayers. They hear your prayers. That's what I just heard. Pain. Pay attention to your health. Club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. But you're in control. You are in control. And that's what the magician is. The magician is somebody that takes action to bring success and has all the resources to do so. You may need time to reflect, okay? Maybe you look in the mirror and you realize that there's something that you need to work on health-wise. There's something that is affecting your health. Maybe it's a person. It could be. Take a good, hard look at yourself this week, okay? Take a good, hard look at yourself and what you are calling into your life. Is this who you are? Because the magician is a card of oneness. When you look in the mirror, you see yourself. Is this who you are? So you may be asking yourself that question this week. So what do we, what do we have for Taurus? You're also manifesting something because the magician manifests. So your thoughts are manifesting something. What do we have for Taurus for this week? Hermit. This is reflection. Going within. Time to reflect. Yeah, it's interesting. They look very similar. You may be going into hermit mode to set new goals, to re-identify yourself. This may be a period of re-identification. Okay? You may be taking a time out to... Uh, think about things okay you and, and maybe you're, you're gaining some sort of wisdom or you've gained some sort of wisdom through a period of isolation or maybe you're going into a period of isolation to uh, re-identify it feels like it's re-identification doing a lot of thinking this week some of you may be choosing to be alone maybe you just want to be alone You're probably becoming enlightened. 
This is a spiritual awareness, both of these cards. So you're going through some sort of enlightenment or awakening, a spiritual awakening. You may be connecting to source. You may be connecting to the divine more. Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is building a foundation, working really hard, Focus, you may be focusing on your money, focusing on your career, focusing on your home. That's where you've been, right? Or you've been focusing on something that has to do with stability or a foundation. I think that you've been trying really, really hard. You may have received an offer from somebody, you know, that works a lot. This person, all they do is work and you're thinking about it, you know. Or maybe you're just focusing on your job and you're alone and you, maybe you're thinking about your independence because this is the magician is a card of self and so isn't the hermit. So somebody is really thinking about their independence. They're thinking about stability and security. Maybe who they want to build a foundation with or the foundation that they're in. This is about being practical. Take the, all the time that you need. I feel like you have an opportunity right now I feel like you have an opportunity. I think it's already been given to you or presented to you, and you're thinking about it. You know, you're thinking about what path you want to go down. So I think this is a week where, you know, you're trying to be practical. Somebody has given you an offer, offer and I feel like you're, you're not sure. You're not sure if this is what you really want. Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is moving forward very, very fast. You may be receiving messages from somebody this week. You may be communicating with somebody. Um, and you may not want to communicate. Maybe you received a message from somebody or an offer from somebody. A message or an offer from somebody. And you're just, not, I feel like you just need to take time to think about it. Yeah, Page of Cups. If you haven't received this offer yet, it is definitely coming. Okay, this is an offer of love. This is a welcome message of love. Uh, they're sweeping the street. So I apologize. It's just cleaning up a mess. So anyhow, um, Page of Cups is an offer of love that is coming in. You may have a secret admirer or you have somebody that is flirting with you, that is texting you, that is communicating with you. This is, or some sort of good news is coming. Okay, this is good news. It, or to them it's good news and to you I feel like it's good news too I think that you asked for this you asked for this solid opportunity you asked for it but now that you have it it's like hmm is this really what I want so I think that you're going to be going within to think about some sort of uh, message that you received or um, Whatever it feels like a met or offer you received something from somebody and I think that you're really going to be thinking about it um, You're going to need all the time that you that you need take your time take your time because and look in the mirror What what my advice is for you to go look in the mirror go look in the mirror and ask yourself While you're looking in the mirror you're looking at yourself in the mirror Okay, you go ask yourself What you want? Is this what you want? What do you want? And be honest with yourself. So anyway, I think that you asked for something. They have answered your prayers. They've brought you an opportunity. And you're not sure. You're not sure if you want it. And I do. I, there is definitely somebody that is going to be expressing feelings to you. Or they're going to be communicating or flirting or something. And there's an opportunity to, or texting or messaging, there's an opportunity to go down a path with this person. But I see there's some sort of uncertain, uncertainty. Ah, Eight of Cups. Page of Swords. It's a message that you did not expect, okay? Or it's an offer that you did not expect. I feel like there's some sort of... There's, maybe there's somebody that is watching you. This could definitely be a secret admirer. Somebody that hasn't been communicating. Yet. But I think that if they haven't been, they're definitely thinking about it. Um, this is somebody that may be upset. They may have a hard time communicating. Um, there is some sort of emotional disappointment. Somebody may have left because of that Eight of Cups. It feels like we have somebody here that is angry over a departure. Because this person looks angry. I feel like there's some sort of anger here or um, discontent 
over a departure of some sort. The Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. So somebody may have said goodbye or they're about to say goodbye. Definitely thinking about saying goodbye. And there could be some sort of conflicts here. There could be some conflicts. You know, somebody may have received or heard they may have seen a message that they didn't want to hear. There may have been some spying. There may have been some investigation. Somebody may have found a message that has made them think, you know, should I stay here? Should I leave? You know, you know, what should I do? What should I do? So I do feel like uh, there could be two people here. There could be two people. Somebody may be dealing with an individual who is communicating with somebody else and they find the message or they've seen it, seen enough, you know, that kind of thing. Um, there could also be a mild conflict that is coming this week. Could be from children. If you maybe you have a couple of children and they're not getting along, I mean that could probably that could be a case. Um, somebody is may need to just walk away. They're thinking about walking away, thinking about who they are. Maybe it's better to be alone, you know, than to be uh, communicating with somebody that you know, is flirting with somebody else. Maybe somebody's flirting with somebody, and I don't know if that's, the, well, that's what I think it is. Somebody, for some of you, somebody is flirting, or they're flirting with you, okay? But I feel like there's more than one person here. We have the, we have the six of pentacles on the bottom. This is about give and take. It's like one person is getting crumbs, you know? One person is getting crumbs, the other person's getting nothing. You know, this person, it feels like we have somebody here that is uh, playing, I feel like, and, and I don't usually see that with this card, but I feel like we have somebody here that is playing. And they may be giving you crumbs because they're, they're, wait, they're messaging with somebody else or they're flirting with somebody else or whatnot. Anyhow, or maybe you're just thinking that, but I think that that could certainly be the case. I feel like you need balance in your life. I feel like you're thinking about what you deserve. You're probably thinking about walking away from somebody. I do believe that there is somebody headed towards you that has walked away from an emotionally disappointing situation. This could be somebody that um, is now wanting stability, so that could be for somebody else. This person, I feel like you are definitely going to be receiving, it's like a gift, okay, a, an opportunity for long-term stability that you're going to have to think about. And I think that it may be, you're going to receive a message, and maybe you've been waiting for this message, or not, could be somebody brand new with the Page of Cups, whatever it is, it's a, it's a welcome message that makes you feel conflicted. It does, it makes you feel conflicted. Um, so yeah, either you're going to see a message you know, it could be on somebody's phone or it could be you're going to receive a message that really it could make you angry, you know, or it makes you feel conflicted. It's a message that takes you by surprise, put it that way, and puts you into hermit mode. You know, I got to think about this. I think you're seeing something, you know, you're seeing something or whatever. So I think you're going to you're going to be reflecting and, and probably taking action uh, with the magician card, you may go look in the mirror and be like, you know what? I deserve more than this. I deserve more than this. So anyhow, um, I do believe that this is a week where um, someone's trying. It's interesting. I just went back to this one. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. I th do believe that you're dealing with somebody that is very manipulative because the magician is a kind of manipulation they may try they may be trying to manipulate you but i feel like you have the uh, awareness to know better that this is manipulation so you may be dealing with a manipulator this week this person may speak love okay they may speak love they may you know but i'm not they may have ulterior motives okay it could just be words this could be somebody that is emotionally immature you know, or they're a very young soul. This is not somebody that is, you know, an old soul. And I feel like you, and this this is like an old soul, uh, soul energy. You may be an old soul, and you may be dealing with somebody that is, you know, this is this is a young soul. This is somebody that is um, immature, that is childish, that is combative. That you know, when when you start to walk away, or when you find out stuff this person will say oh I love you and they'll, you know they'll say all the right things they say they speak words of love but I feel like it's in a manipulative way I do let's get one more card 
Oh my God. So this is a fraud. This is a con. This is somebody that uh, doesn't treat you fairly. You know, they don't see you as an equal. They may not respect you. They may not respect you. They are probably not giving you what you deserve or something like that. I feel like this is an abuse of generosity or you know it is this is somebody that has abused their power over you so anyway I do feel like you're gonna definitely be thinking this week about relocation about walking away about what you want to invest in I think you've been waiting and you've been investing in something that um, you know may have been fruitful for a minute you know, it may you may have thought that it was going to be great, but it doesn't look great. It looks like it's a dead end. Anyhow, I do think it's going to be a week of, of reflection. Um, I believe that you have already received an offer from somebody that I feel like it appeared solid, it, you know, and you may have started to build a foundation, but I feel like you have this new uh, vision, you know, you've become awakened, you know, you've become enlightened you've really been thinking about everything and I feel like you receive a message whether it's from within or from another person or you see a message and I feel that that this message is gonna bring you bring you conflict and maybe you know puts you in a in a position where you know you know you've seen the light and you just want to walk away you know um, somebody could also be walking away from you, but I, 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 I don't know. I, don't, I, I feel like there's definitely a conflict here that is coming with the Page of Swords. Um, this is somebody that uh, has abused their power. They have. It's a fraud. This is a fraud. Um, they speak love, but they really don't have anything to offer you. maybe money they may they may be able to offer you a financial security but that's about it anyhow Taurus I feel like this is a week of you going within to think about you know who you are and what you deserve because you're gonna receive a, a message or an offer or you're gonna see a message that really makes you conflicted Good luck.